top right hand corner on Daybreak is going to be the player for Alien Invasion, Tarantius. And in the bottom left is going to be for Mouse Sports, the Blue Terran player, Hero Marine, currently up 2 0. Yep, 2 0. Definitely taking a nice advantage in this round 3 series. You guys, you gotta keep in mind here if Hero Marine wins this game, it's not just about moving on to fight TLO. That's 600 total euro, 300 from this series, 300 from what he's had prior to this. That's a lot of freaking money. That's over half of the prize pool. Yeah, you can buy a lot of McDonald's with that. <laughs> McDonald's, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm sure like Hero Marine. Know. You know what? No, whether you're 16 or 15, if you've got 600 euro, you're going out for steak freaking dinner every night, man. Forget McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, okay, good point. Yeah, no, the uh, we got people discussing like the way this, the engagements have and the compositions of all these games so far. And the reality is of what what is happening is our Protoss players today, not just Ranty of Sasaki as well, they're not applying enough or really any pressure to Hero Marine, and it's allowing him to get to that composition of snowballish, you know, type builds where you've got so many ghosts on the field that the amount of immortals don't matter. You know, you're just gonna EMP everything off. The archons don't matter. You're gonna EMP everything off, and the snipes are gonna take care of all the storms. Yeah. I mean, like, quite frankly, if I was Tarantius right now, go for a 4-gate, man. Like, I mean, it's 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 kind of silly yeah, and it's I, all I in, feel, but... I feel last game what he was trying to do initially was the build that MC did in IEM, I think it was. Like, open Stargate, try to just be annoying with it, and then follow it up with the Colossus all in. That's what it looked like in the start, but he decided well, to go it's... for a third anyway. Whether it's MC's build, White Rose build, or Tails build, I mean, like, I'd love to just see better aggression. <laughs> I mean, like, Tails is famous for, like, his Dark Templar drops at this point, and, like, yeah. they're, they're really effective, and there's a good reason for it. It's because they freaking work. Yeah. But between Slivko and Tarantius, I feel both of these players are kind of... I don't know. Not necessarily stuck, but they are sticking to this sort of Wings of Liberty mindset, it feels. Yeah, kind of. I would like to see more of the the newer things like bio mine in the mid game a bit more because he makes a couple like he made like two three mines but for the rest he's not really implementing them against Protoss I can understand but we did say uh, Hero Marine earlier against uh, Soccer go for Mech on this map if you remember the Hellbat with Marine tank yeah like, yeah I remember being off I was just like who he goes Mech I didn't even know he had that ability in him <laughs> yeah and. It was really well executed as well, so I'm surprised if we're going to see something similar just because it's Daybreak. Perhaps it's just a strategy used on a specific map, or... Yeah, well, I'm curious what Tarantius is going to do. Again, we've got that very early Robo coming out, but again, you know, that's for the detection. Completely understandable. Not only understandable, but necessary in this matchup. Yeah. And... Are we going to see... F oh, no, two extra racks is just going to play normal again. <laughs> Yeah, no oh. third CC gonna come down due to the racks, but still he'll be fine as far as situating himself for the mid game. Yeah, definitely. Four Marines gonna start poking out on the map with the Watchtower already under his control. Tarantius, you know, he's gonna know what's going on. Searching around for any sort of potential proxies. I actually really like that with that stalker. Is proxy factories always something to look out for? Does show some really good game sense out of our Protoss player. But oh yeah, no, but the SC there was get like in one here. corner of the map where it didn't have vision, so if it was a factory lifted oh, and the stalker outside the base, uh, we don't mind if it was proxy. It could have been in the mineral line already. <laughs> I gotta say, that SCV scout, by the way, was like a couple pixels shy of scouting the robo. Not yeah, that he really needs to. Well. Yeah. I mean, a robo on its own is nothing scary, but if you saw the robo bay following it up, that's when you start, you know, crapping your pants out a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Because, I mean, a robo right now could, like, mean anything. Could be just Observers, could be a War Prison DT, could be Colossus. So, it doesn't really tell that much. Well, Hero Marine has not trans... Okay, there we go. As you say, he's waiting a while to move that orbital. He has had it ready to go, but... Tarantius is kind of, again, I feel not going to place on any pressure. I think the best strategy he probably could have done or utilized... Um, I mean, Speed Prism with Immortals... It's it's kind of weird to think about because it's mostly a PvP build. I feel more than anything else, but it's still very yeah. effective against Terran. As that gravatic booster, I mean, like it takes stim to keep up with that. Yeah, that's true. But don't forget that 
Tarantula at the moment doesn't know. Yeah, he will know now with the observer that there is no factory, but some Terrans like to burrow like a widow mine or have it like in the main and just burrow it if they see a dropping coming and you don't want to lose three mortars in a war prison to a widow mine. Mm. Well, I mean, I'm just looking at the composition that's getting created here. And with the early immortals out, I mean, is he going to push with this? Is my question. Yeah, he's going to. He might try to bust this actually. With if a... he does, he's not going to have a good time. There's more than enough infantry on the field. Yeah, like, definitely. this is not going to go Tarantius' way. I mean, he can force it off the bunker. Scan. Sees everything. Oh, even the hidden tech on the side. Well, quote unquote hidden, yeah. but the gates coming in as yeah, well. But I mean, hidden gates. Even if he breaks it's this good. bunker. Yeah, we got another bunker coming down. We got the Marauder out in the field. We got a hell of a lot of Marines. And more importantly, Steam is only like 35 seconds from finishing. So will he arrive before Steam finishes or not? That's the big deal. If Steam finishes, it's gonna be rough. Tranius, Tranius getting free reign on these observers though is really nice. Your Marine again, he almost never picks off these observers. So unfortunately, you know, Tranius knows exactly what he's gonna be walking into, where Your Marine doesn't have any clue. Ford pylons being sort of leapfrogged across the map, and Tranius is looking to do a bunch of damage, but will it be enough? Is the big question. I mean, he's seen this. STV is preemptively being pulled. I love this choice, but only on one of the bunkers. This is going to be the target. There we go. Moves his STVs over. But this is going to be some pretty heavy aggression, and this is what I feel needs to be done to break oh. Hero Marine. Some Beautiful nice force fields. Shots, but team went off, but let's see how much it can. Can do. he pick off? If he can pick off one of these immortals, oh my god, it's going to be low, but it won't be finished off. Some nice micro, and I think he just he, he can Ooh, make stimming off. forward. Oh. A little bold, but he does bait out more force fields. Yeah. And but it's an extra steam. Well, Medivac's now coming out, but they're not here yet. Bunker does fall. Marine's gonna go down. But the with the immortals dying out, the Marauders with that much more effective, suddenly the Colossus or sorry, yeah, the Colossus Stalker's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, Zealots now warping in, but I mean their sentry's gonna warp on or force field off the ramp. This base needs to be lifted. Everything here is forfeit. Seems like enough. Oh, he's gonna pick up actually, very nicely done. But still behind this, he doesn't have the production factory floating in the air. Hell, get Widowmines out, get Hellions out, get anything out. Tarantius, this is the pressure we were talking about, guys. This is what we've been waiting for all day. And we're seeing just how much damage it's doing here yeah, to Hero Marine. This is sort of the weakness in Hero's Marine build, you think? That it's like, he's I don't very think vulnerable it's the weakness. to pressure it's... from Protoss. Well, no, his build itself isn't that vulnerable, I feel. It's just the fact that he's he wasn't prepared for this. I mean, he yeah. needed to have three bunkers down, have four bunkers down, and he saw this coming way too late. Some beautiful micro, actually. We see this pick up and drop micro yeah, on the Marauders. Might just save him here. I mean, it's going to be oh, at the cost of quite a few units. Great, but is it an overthinking, though? 24 okay. SCVs are dead at this point. Even if Hero holds on, as we see here in the top right, the uh, count is just not in his favor. Some nice micro there with the Marauder, but is it enough? Not just nice, but magnificent. Tarantius continuing to push back, but here comes the Warping of Zealots from behind. Yeah, and that's not looking too good. Nice pickup though, oh, again. lifts up and is just going for the Stalkers, I've, or Dr. Base, fair enough. Insane micro coming out of Hero Marine here, guys. Yeah, very, very nice. And, and he's like gonna hold. Gonna stabilize. But is stabilizing enough? I mean, the, the game he lost earlier. He had no workers left on the field. It's kind of a similar situation. Yeah, yeah. He has 26 to 44. Right, and well. there's another immortal though. If he can pick up on it quick enough, it's a free immortal. Not before the immortal gets a marauder though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be picked off. Oh, will it be another quick counter to the main? With uh, dropships or? What will I don't do? know. He's got to clean up these pylons because the threat of warp ins still exists. Yeah, it's like at least three extra pylons you can get almost for free. Oops. Sorry, oh, the observer sees everything though. Look at that. And is he, does he have enough to hold this? He has four stalkers, three zealots, and immortal and a sentry. I think it is enough. And the mothership core, of course, without quote an overcharge, picks up a medivac, nice force field. Um, I don't know, I don't see Tarantris doing anything about this immortal falls, but another one joins the fight, and this might just be enough for Tarantris to take a game off Hero Marine, or at least hold for now. Let's have a quick update how well Hero Marine is recovering behind this. It's closing up on SUVs, but 
and he can't support all this production fully. And that I feel is becoming an issue. And meanwhile, one one on the way observers coming out. Twilight Council on the way as well. And here comes the big drop into the main. Observer just scouts it out and it's a bit too late. He has another photon overcharge on the main. And here come in the stalkers to clean it up. There's more than enough to deal with this, so I'm sorry for the yeah, absence yeah. there with my typing, but yeah, the immortals are gonna chase us or not the immortal, the overcharge will chase us off and Hero Marine. Not being able to do the damage he wants to do. Oh. Going to find his opponent with the third base while he is still barely catching up in workers. Yeah, and he can't find an opening in the Protoss base to, like, do damage. And he needs to do some type of damage back at this point. And, yeah, unfortunately for him, it's not working. But if he can somehow get a cancellation on this third, perhaps, but we have a Zealot The warp in. in, yeah. SCVs retreating immediately, so he's not going to lose too many of them. But, unfortunately, the Marines do fall. Yeah, but more importantly, it's like delaying this move out from Hero Marine he was planning to, and it will make the third Nexus finish. I'm a little shocked here. That The pressure here from Tarantius was actually quite magnificent. There's no way to. Oops, sorry, I've got the wrong tab open on upgrades. Uh, following yeah, up with Colossus now, but being a whole base ahead is not an opportunity that any players have been afforded today versus Hero Marine. So this, yeah, so, I mean, he's got to wield his economy. If he sits back for too long, he's going to allow Hero Marine to catch up. Now, I'm not saying he should throw his entire army away in the hopes of doing a little bit of damage, but by stopping this pressure, by reeling back, we're seeing Hero Marine start to take control of the map. And it doesn't have that many units, to be honest. The Colossus is on the way. He has, doesn't even have charge finished. Charge is still has 30 seconds on it, so it's a small timing here for Hero Marine, I feel that he could do some damage. Oh, and he's scanning everything, but just missing half the army at the moment. Oh, no, and the Observer flies right out of scan range. Just barely. Uh, did he see the drop? But I here comes he the did. Doom Drop. He has to have had Colossus yeah, popping in the, the Colossus is there too. Colossus getting folks down immediately, running away. Overcharge on that Nexus, but I don't know that the Overcharge alone will be enough. There's way too much here. As Ranch just starts filing up this ramp. Um, time Warp even nice going down. Warp. Nice force fields cutting off a small part of the army. Colossus does follow. I fear that the uh, time warps, or sorry, the force fields actually going to work against him. Actually, we have to pick up here. As yeah, there's moves too much out. warping capacity right now for a Protoss, but the mobility of the Medivax right now allowing him to get in a good position here on this third base. And, and there's nothing here to defend it. Workers aren't even mining correctly at the moment. We yeah, could have a warp in, but. Oh, he this should absolutely get this base. And then he's just gonna lift off and run. A Medivac's yeah, boosting without the units inside them. <laughs> uh oh. He has, he has to be careful though, because Protoss could be l responding right now with, okay, let's just go for it. But look well, at we the do have the warp coming in from Hero Marine. We got that six Zella warp in going into the Nashville. There's nothing here to defend it. Oh, so, this big fight in the middle of the map is just distraction tactics. And he's actually yeah, gonna but... take some losses, will retreat for the time being. But here we go, immediately retreating at home is Hero Marine. And he's not going to lose too many, if any of these SCVs. Nice sort of work a wall off for these does Marines to shell like, away. Yeah, but does the Rangers have enough army to actually just blast through? No, Hero Marine, Marine is just walking all over terrain to some both fronts yeah. right now. Cleaning up not only at home, but also on the offensive. Vikings yeah. being landed, doing a lot of extra damage moving into the natural here. Let's not forget Hero Marine did snipe the robot, so there's no capacity to do. make any Colossus at the moment. So these Archons are his last hope. And is Hero Marine just going to pull this off? He's absolutely going to pull this off. And another 3-0 sweep, I feel. Probes are being pulled. That's oh. when you know things are getting desperate. Archon's here as well. Hero Marine actually trying to kite a little bit here, but he's going to clean this up regardless. Without storms, without AoE, it's just impossible to deal with this. Good game, good luck. This Tarantius. Wow, such a nice game from Hero Marine. Another 3-0. Wow. And a lot of money in his pocket.